Okay. So sorry. that I 
like and um, you know share my information share my knowledge with you to pass it on hopefully uh, you'll, you'll benefit from that so yeah like I said I need a better <coughs> need a better area for the camera I suppose it's kind of stationary so we got to bring stuff to it. So also one other thing that I have been experimenting with and trying to rectify a problem that uh, has been annoying me for a while. So your basic uh, airbrush bottle assembly stem and straw or whatever they call it, um, you know they have a company called Big Air, uh, I believe it's called uh, Big Mouth Airbrush, and they're really cool uh, assemblies where you have the straw for the paint, but they also have up at the top a raised air hole, and that raised air hole saves you a ton of time and uh, just inefficiency when it comes to uh, when you're spraying and that and it's clogged up because some paint may have gotten on top of there. Uh, you don't know how many times I get skipping and um, <clears throat> you know the performance of the brush is hindered and I can't figure out what's going on. Yo, Jeff Simon, what's good, bro? I can barely see. I'm sorry, I need to bring this a little closer. How you doing today? I hope everything is well with you. So, so I'm, I'm trying to uh, just do a little review of some products that I have just received or I have uh, been holding on to for, for a little bit before I got to use them. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go over this stuff really quick and then I'm going to try to get into uh, spraying some, some, some stuff. I have a quick uh, logo um, to, to feel out for a person just to give them a, a, you know, a quick <clears throat> composition and run that run down uh, you know for them to take a look at but as I was saying with these uh, straws uh, you have like the big mouth um, straw and it's really good they're kind of expensive those bottles they're also maybe two ounces which you know doesn't work for me so I generally will use uh, four ounce bottles that I purchase from a particular vendor that uh, you know, I've been using for several years now. Uh, they fit these uh, bottle assembly. Uh, you know uh, the uh, what are they called uh, the threads inside of the actual cap. They fit those. Uh, they're not perfect, but it, it fits pretty well. Sometimes I have to add a little tape or something just so that it's a little tighter. But you make do, make it work. That's what I'm about. Save a little money and make it work. Do some ingenuity and uh, be clever about it. And uh, yeah, you know. Uh, so what I did here, and I've done this in the past, and this one was an experiment, and I'm still trying to find the right piece. Uh, yeah, Jeff. Uh, on site events. Yeah, I've, I've been doing a, mostly on site events, and uh, you know. The weekends have been uh, busy. Uh, I have some weekday stuff as well, which is good. And um, yeah, I've been enjoying it. I have uh, some video that I would like to process and, and edit and share with uh, you know the community. Uh, and uh, we'll do that soon. So uh, so basically, with this bottle assembly and the straw, how I modified it got paint in it right now so it's going to be hard to show you Let me see if I can get a little closer here <clears throat> so instead of having the normal air hole the little hole that you poke up that you poke at up at the top I tend to get a lot of I guess paint that will will just hang out on the top of the cap and it really annoys me because whenever you need are you spraying you may get some skipping and then all of a sudden, uh, <clears throat> you look down and you're like, oh man, i got to poke that hole again. 
So what I tried to do was mimic the big, uh, the big mouth. You know, the big mouth assembly. Uh, they actually have a piece that's connected to the, uh, you know, to the air, to the paint spout, and uh, it's just a another way for the air to get into uh, the bottle. Because when you're spraying, uh, you know, the bottle needs to pull in the, the, the air, uh, you know, to, to make the pressure balance in the, in the uh, <clears throat> inside the bottle. So you, you need definitely a very clean air hole, and, um, you know, I always have an issue with that. So what I did was, I've been looking for the right type of uh, little piece, and maybe somebody can help me out with this because I've been kind of searching for something new online. Uh, this is uh, an anchor, uh, a wall anchor that you would mount into, uh, you know, the, uh, and I just lost my train of thought, uh, <coughs> what was that called, oh, sheetrock, pardon me, into the sheetrock, and then you would screw into that little plastic thing. So basically, I like the way that they have, you know, a top piece and a little notch, because that little notch allows it to kind of push down in there and stay in there. Uh, and then, I, you know, it already had a hole, so I kind of drilled the hole a little bit larger. Uh, I'm not really liking it because it has the, uh, I don't know, like a, a cross looking, uh, it's very hard to see. It's got, it's not rounded, but it kind of has like a cross uh, kind of opening. So I still have to poke it through every once in a while, uh, but it's not really efficient and I'm not, you know, I wasn't feeling it. So uh, I think that's been a problem that I've had for a little while where at some parties uh, the pain is good and then some days it's, it's, it's not that great. So what I did was, uh, you know, I was just looking through my um, drawer of airbrush uh, pieces and supplies. And this is basically just the uh, <clears throat> this is just the uh, needle cap on the top there. We got a commercial. Talking about Father's Day still. Uh, anyway, so this uh, so what Jeff say? Oh, I want a big mouth bottles. Yeah, Coast has them. I great that Coast has them. They can keep them because I'll just create something that that works for me. Uh, and use the stuff that's cheaper, um, you know. So what I did was I took the uh, little, you know, the little nozzle cap there, and I love it because it has the screw for. So it's threaded already. Here's an example. Anybody want to see my airbrush graveyard? You can see that in there. The airbrush graveyard. That's just that's just level one. There's level two. There's more. Uh, a lot of dust on them, but uh, most of these are are usable. They may not be ready for action, but completely ready. But uh, I'm gonna get back into the uh, top feed airbrushing this summer, I hope. Uh, so what's the piece I'm looking for? Okay, here's an example. <clears throat> so, yeah, just the top cap, I mean the nozzle cap. What I like about it is that it's threaded on this portion right here, and then it also has a hole. And I've been, I can't get that oriented right. Can you see that? I don't know why. There we go. That has a hole. So I've been looking for a, some sort of screw or a hollow screw or some, some sort of, you know, durable, already made unit, something like this, that, that has, uh, you know, the same uh, variables, the same, 
know, capabilities. And what I did was I just basically drilled the hole in this one a little bit larger. And I screwed it in. I just, it was threaded it enough and it's barely, it's barely in the cap. Barely, you can barely see it in there. There it is. <clears throat> but the air hole is at the perfect um, depth in there that uh, you know it, it, it shouldn't um, get too much paint on there or you know uh, to to gather. Uh, I probably still will have to poke the hole every once in a while, but the air hole up, up, up top is raised. And what I may end up doing is hot gluing uh, around it just to uh, seal it and keep it a little bit, um, you know, keep it a little airtight. And uh, I'm going to see how that works. I'm going to see how the difference is. Because I have, this is my uh, normal uh, black bottle. And uh, we're going to switch that out midway for this particular uh, new uh, bottle assembly. Okay, so some of the let's let's get to the airbrushes here. Let's crack them open. Oh, almost, I also got some paint. I picked up uh, a good amount of uh, auto air, and uh, you know we'll take a look at the auto air as well. So when I have, you know, a little bit of uh, extra spending money, I always buy supplies. Uh, yeah, these were all purchased, you know, by myself, and uh, you know, I'm gonna let you know how this stuff works on a video one day. And um, yeah, I just want you know people to be aware of how these products are used and how. Um, you know, I, I use them in certain applications and I hopefully will, you know, start getting more hard surface projects and, uh, you know, some artwork that uh, I'm really into. Uh, so there's tons of, let's see, what is this? This is the Candy 2.0. Uh, this is House of Colors. I mean, pardon me, I was going to say House of Colors. I'm used to using House of Colors from, from back in the days. House of Colors Candy was... was Pretty cool. It was good stuff, but um, uh, you know, if you're not really aware of how uh, you know candy works, it'll bleed, um, you know, through uh, layers of the paint. And now I'm aware that you know a lot of times you have to put an intercoat uh, clear on certain you know levels of the paint, so that way you're protecting it from uh, you know any of the overspray of candy. Because I have a, a piece. Uh, that well, over years, over time, I noticed, you know, the difference, what happened, where an area was supposed to stay white, and I sprayed candy red around there, and it just seeped and bled into everywhere. Yep. So, yeah, Todd, uh, what's good, bro? Todd, Createx 2.0 is, yeah, I, I keep hearing about, like, I saw the video on Spray Gunner uh, about uh, the new Wicked stuff. And I, I have a feeling that, you know, this, this um, uh, Createx um, auto air and, and stuff, it's going to uh, start getting cheaper because they're, gonna, they're phasing out that line. And then hopefully, you know, when you, go, when you find it online, you go to different stores. I happened upon um, a website that, uh, uh, you know, I thought it was a really good, really good deal. Uh, for these uh, sets, and um, I just picked them up. Here's the. the main bulk of it. So I, I, I got some Autoborn sealer, uh, nice four ounce bottles. I think I bought two of those. Yes, I bought two sets of those. Uh, and then I have. What do we got here? 
I bought transparent and probably... I bought two transparents? Wait a second, I don't remember buying two transparents, but I guess I did. Ah, I didn't realize that I had did that. I thought I was buying semi-opaque. Ah. Alright, regardless. I got a lot of good paint here. Okay, and then we have the candies. It was supposed to be metallics. I'm pretty certain I had... I'm pretty certain I, I clicked on metallics. Something's not right here. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at that. I, I That's one big mistake I keep doing is I keep leaving stuff in the box when I just get it and forget to, um, you know, look at the complete order. My fault. My bad. Something I will learn from. Cool. So that paint looks pretty, pretty good. And, uh, you know, like I said, I have to bust open some... Uh, I'll, I'll really work out the top feet guns that I have currently and um, these are in action right now uh, this is the one that I received uh, from the Badger uh, 55th anniversary and this is an extreme patriot I, I, I kind of do like Badger brand I'm, I'm excited to use them uh, they like I said, the Badger Anthem, they, they have not really, they've been in my box for a while, and uh, they're, they're the most reliable airbrushes I have. Um, the previous uh, six-pack set that I bought were Pache Millenniums, and they, some of them still run okay. But I, I think sometimes, like, you know, to find a gun that you can abuse and, you know, depend on, you just have to, you know, I don't know, go through the motion, and, and I would not pick this gun again. I probably would not go with the Pache uh, Millenniums. Although, the Pache BLs, those are pretty, um, I wouldn't say bulletproof, but th those are really durable guns. And I have been thinking about purchasing another uh, set of those. Um, they have them pretty cheap uh, on their website. Uh, the clearance area, so that's a good tip. So go check that out. I'm passing that on from uh, a friend, um, uh, my buddy Mike Bress. He he um, he really he knows a lot of the different um, ways people have been, uh, you know, marketing clone airbrushes and figuring out like you know what is uh, uh, you know a decent brush and. and uh, you know, sometimes you just have to buy it to figure it out and see how it works. And, um, you know, as I go deeper into the rift of airbrushing, um, you know, I, I, I keep, you know, everybody has their own preference. But, um, you know, you want to experiment and find the right brush for the right uh, situation. And uh, I tell you, these six shooter, the six shooter pack, uh, I found a coupon on know online so I got a little bit of a discount so I was very I was very very happy when uh, you know I made this purchase um, so yeah you know if you if you interested in that um, coupon code it may still work for you just ask me and I'll try to send that over to you um, yeah Todd the Iwata eclipses I used to use them early on I, I still you know I enjoy them I have a bunch of them uh, one day I have to kind of sit down and sort through all of my parts and, um, you know, create, uh, you know, some Frankenstein brushes and, uh, you know, you know, see how those kind of work because, uh, they were, they were pretty solid brushes, but, um, over time, uh, you know, I just can't afford, like, the, uh, you know, the, the parts and, uh, you know, just... I don't know, I, I ended up just trying, like I said, different airbrushes. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you need airbrushes and you're like, oh man, I don't really have any money or whatever, and I try to you want to get something that's a good deal, 
Uh, Master is always, you know, a good airbrush. I have to give them that, you know. I uh, just referred them to uh, uh, one of my, uh, you know, apprentices. I have, I have taken on an apprentice, and uh, he has purchased a, a set of the, uh, uh, I think, six, six Masters. They didn't have the eight, uh, the eight piece set, which is even better of a deal. Because you get the uh, 0.8, uh, you know, cones and change. You know, you can change the um, the head of the airbrush with those. But yeah, I'm really excited to bust these open. Let's see. I also remembered to purchase the uh, conversion pieces. So uh, remember to make sure you do that as well. I think I have the right ones in my hand. So there are this, this several kinds of conversion pieces. This is uh, a one eighth to a one quarter, uh, and this you know sticks onto the airbrush and then would go directly onto the hose or any of your uh, other attachments. But uh, I think these are better. Let's open this puppy up. So these are the just, <clears throat> these are supposedly the, the full stem, yeah, from one eighth right into the quick disconnect. So that's going to fit uh, the Badger Anthem right there. And it's just the quick disconnect stem, uh, the male portion of the stem that, that fits right in there, and the female portion is one eighth. So these will um, do the same job as this will. This you just have to put a, you know, like quarter, uh, you know, a quarter inch uh, quick disconnect on, on there, and that works. All right, so, exacto. I don't know why, but I, I like to unwrap things in a way that I can preserve the wrapping. Say badger, but it doesn't, and I, I'm just 
just there's another goofy mistake. Uh, turned off the AC and it is starting to really get warm in here. Okay, so bam. So that would go on to the brush like so. And I would either put the hose on here or let's see if we can find Sharpen Air from Spray Gunner. I believe that I, uh, oh, I got a part from my mom, thank you. Uh, I might get some Ken from Badger, said 155 sprays. Like, yeah, those, um, uh, these anthems, I, I tell them, they're, they're really good. I, I act, I'm very impressed by them. Um, you get a very wide spray pattern. Very, it pushes out the paint. I love the thickness of the needle and the um, little pull chuck back here. I don't know what you call it. A little, it's like a little chuck that you can pull back the needle with I mostly I mostly go from here but you know with this one you can pull it back and then you would get your full amount of spray all right so the sharpen air this looks good what do we got a nice little card inside thank you Wendy and uh, this is my packing slip in your seat and uh, I gotta give them props because uh, you know there's probably a ton of these in a lot of airbrushers' homes uh, or, or shops, rather. And uh, you know we're gonna. It's been a while. I decided to purchase one because I have a lot of brushes that I want to maintain and, and work, uh, bring back to life. So this is what it comes with, uh, and it's, it's got some weight to it. It's got some weight to it, definitely. There's a sharpening stone in there probably is pretty good. And uh, I don't know what this is, some sort of padding. Um, figure that out. But yeah, I, I really think that it's awesome that uh, you know people create these products that are helpful in an industry where somebody is noticed that there was an issue or a problem and uh, they're, you know, capable of coming up with a solution. And I have uh, some things in mind and I hope to pursue them. Uh, so we shall wait and see uh, for instructions on how to use. That, that will do. We'll definitely go online and take a look at how to use this. I don't really need to use this right now. Uh, it's for polishing your needle. Yeah, I got the Hulk. I got the Hulk version. Uh, I like. I like the, the neon green. It's definitely a cool effect. I don't care. I, I think the best part about it is like when you're looking for something, like in your shop. Like I like being able to identify something by color, and it just stand out. And boom, I grab it. Like my water bottle. 
I don't know why, but I ended up, I taped it up blue and put these weird um, small orange uh, tape lines around it. And it's so easily identifiable. I could put it anywhere and I just glance and, oh, that's it, you know? Um, so yeah, and it comes with some sort of, I don't know, I don't even know what this is. Some sort of um, needle grease or something. I don't know. So, what is your impression on it, Todd? Do you, do you have you know since you've used it before? What would you um, you know? I've heard maybe I've heard maybe some negative reviews about it. You know, I, I had you know my close you know personal friends and and uh, you know it was, it was like after I purchased it, and I was like, okay, well. I'm going to open it anyway, and, um, you know, hopefully I get some use out of it. Seems like it, can you attach this to something? Yeah, I thought it was going to have like a button or something. Anyway, okay, we were going to put that away. All right, so first things first, let's... Let's do this quick uh, design, um, and this is kind of like a comp. Just to see how um, you know this would appear uh, for somebody. Just wanted a quick. design layout for an upcoming event they're planning on and uh, you know I just want to help them out and see if it's something they can do try to do it inexpensively for them so as opposed to trying to uh, you know sit down and design this on the computer uh, I'm just gonna draw out something really quick uh, you know basic and simple with the lettering and uh, you know throw the little elements in there for the design that they requested and we'll see how that works out because I'm just doing a, a, a basic party. If I was at an event, if somebody made this request, that's what this is. All right. Used it a few times, still don't really know how to use it. You know, Todd, there's um, there's a couple of big, you know, there's very good. There's a couple of good videos that I started to watch. Uh, I know Airbrush Asylum has a really good video on it, uh, and uh, it's, you know, there's, there's some people that have reviewed it, but you know. The thing is, is if you can get, um, you know, a little bit of use out of it, I, I suppose, you know, uh, oh, it has to be over a couple of years. I'll, I know I'll go back and forth to this thing, and uh, hopefully it'll work uh, to, you know, the specifications. And uh, if it doesn't, then I'll, 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 I'll figure out a way to make it work. Uh, it fixed my Iwata HSP, uh, HSB needle. That's good. Though that's probably a uh, much thinner, I suppose, a, a thinner not, uh, needle that, uh, you know, that's the problem with some of these brushes. The, uh, these master brushes have extremely thin needles. You can just hold it and it'll, it'll bend. Um, so I don't, we don't want those anymore. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's put up the black. Where's the black? chair I received earlier today from a customer. Uh, she's a very loyal customer and I, I you know has all you know has called me over over many years. Uh, I've done many pieces of artwork for our children. I, you know it's hard to remember or know what those things are. Maybe if I go on our Instagram or something maybe I'll see that. I don't know. Okay. But yeah so that that's like a anybody's interested this is one of those camp chairs uh, the camp chair uh, this was is for a boy you know it's a basketball uh, there you know her son had used it in the past 
and uh, they want to, you know, uh, recycle it and give it to the daughter. And uh, I'm going to make it really girly. We'll figure out how to make it girly. Okay. I need a good spot for this uh, tablet. Let's figure it out. Oh, the other, the other thing I was going to open up, there's one more thing I want to open up. Alright, basic inventory, it's a box of uh, hats, just got a fresh case of, of hats. We'll open those up and take a look at that. Make sure what's what inside. just-in-case kind of thing. 
Um, but I, I like having, you know, hats like that because uh, I can do something special to them and just hold on to them for the just-in-case kind of uh, event. Uh, but the white ones, these are going to go uh, fairly quickly at events. And uh, I forgot about them because I can do a lot more. There's, there's so much more real estate on, on the white hat because you can do the brim and on the top, I can, I can airbrush on the back, whatever. But yeah, these, these will definitely got a full case. Let's see how long it takes me to get through this. Shouldn't be that long. All right, so I'll put that away. All right, and uh, what I plan on doing, let's round this uh, stream out real quick with a little bit of airbrushing. Let me show you some stuff real quick. Um, had to make some stencils over the weekend for a particular event and did uh, Yankee stuff, but I don't know where this, you know, all this stuff may be still outside and uh, it's more than likely within the, with the car, uh, in the car. Uh, but I made this one the medical caduceus symbol and uh, I really like this one because I've been getting a lot of requests at um, you know these events for you know there's a lot there's some adults that are participating and and you know I want to have some stencils uh, ready uh, for adults uh, things that you know they you know, cherish and, and, and uh, would like to see on a shirt so hey I think that's uh, straightforward I made a beer mug I made a wine glass and um, I made a tip a special t I made my own TikTok stencil like I wrote out TikTok and I, I, I like the way that I did that I don't have it I don't know where it is it's out in the car um, but you know, TikTok is really popular, guys. You guys know that. So there's another, I added this maybe two years ago uh, or a while back, I added this one, uh, you know, and, and uh, people enjoyed that. So we got a couple of shirts that we have to do the wine glass on, but same batch of um, shirts here. Uh, this is uh, for the daughter. I don't know. It's a Quetzalcoatl. She gave me a very small picture that obviously it was from a video and she screenshotted the video. So I really didn't understand the context of the shading and the colors. So I kind of just, you know, I kind of just followed it and, and kind of did some stuff on my own. Um, but it seems like he was almost in shadow on one side. So that's what I was trying to illustrate there is that he was a little bit in shadow. He's probably all white, but with like purplish tones. And then he had green, green little ear gills or whatever on one side and red ear gills on the other. So I thought it was cute and I just, you know, tried to you know make that as cool as possible uh, that one I, I I drew out with uh, give you a quick tip I drew out with a uh, let's say any a, a thermographic pen it's a thermographic marker the uh, when you heat it up the marker the marker actually disappears and it, it does it you know it's pretty good on the shirt pretty visible you can see that and uh, there's a little heat there it goes that won't that won't come back that doesn't show up anymore so yeah, uh, if you're interested in this one, I'll try to do a video on this and um, you know I'll, I'll provide some more information or something about these. 
Uh, but but yeah, yeah, that was that was a really good tip. That was a good one right there. Okay. Um, I don't know if anybody else is still in the in the house, but uh, here we go. Let's let's do this. Uh, prime the airbrush. Shaking it up wasn't a good idea. Well, I didn't need to shake it up, but to poke the hole, make sure the air is getting through there. It should be okay. And uh, since I have to do this, I have another order that I keep putting off. Release. I'm gonna do your work this week. Uh, said is the skipping and I, I usually believe I believe that the skipping comes from when your air hole uh, you know has paint uh, you know obstructing it or you know it's not getting enough air in there and it just momentarily you know you know it, it'll it'll skip on you but we're not getting that right now Dagger strokes. Okay, those are clean. 
It's not bad. I don't know if I would be able to tell a difference, but we're going to change it anyhow. Oh, and you know what another test I'd like to do is I, I've been uh, thinking I may change my black liner. Who's that? Uh, hey, Eric. Who's Eric? Is Eric on another page? Where did I get what? Uh, where did I get those? Where did I get what, Todd? Try paint on the tip. Try paint on the tip. What, uh, Todd, what are you asking? What did I order? The pen? Oh. Uh, I either find them on Amazon. I don't remember in, in actuality. I have to, I'll give you the name to look for. I'll text you the name. The skipping. Yeah, the skipping, I still, you know, sometimes it's a variety, I think it's a variety of things. Uh, one thing that I wanted to do a while back, my friend, uh, my grass tip, he found uh, these little filters or these little a little filter that would go on the bottom of the straw. But I have a thicker straw and they don't fit. They don't fit on this one. But they do fit on the regular, the smaller, the smaller straws. What that will do is the paint that's going up, it gets strained before it gets, uh, you know, before it goes up the tube. So you don't get any large chunks or anything um, at the bottom that will, will make its way up there. But I, I have a feeling that you probably have to clean these often as well. So that way, once they get caked up, you gotta clean that up. But still haven't got a chance to utilize these, but maybe one day. What do you do with the bag? Oh. Yeah, it's a good uh, relaxing stream for me. I'm not rushing to do anything. I do have to get to those clients and email them, text them, or whatever, and then check my email again. So we're going to get into some opt. Okay, so this is the new, this is the new uh, version of my MacGyver straw. I like the way it looks. Oh, yeah. The hole, I believe, is, is, is kind of larger than slightly larger than the hole that you normally have, but it's a nice, solid, uh, raised hole. There's a change, there was a change. Nice clean, beautiful. Sure, it's getting a lot of good fresh air. Whoops, I just used up my paper towel. I meant to not do all that. Okay. So this bottle is working great. Let's get this out of the way. Oh yeah, we're going to also, let's see, well, I may put this on a, a black as well, just to see the difference in spray. I have a spare black. Yeah, Todd, I'll, I'll, I'll text you uh, the name of it because uh, I'm trying to hold that in 
my pocket for a little bit. Okay, so this is the <clears throat> this is the Badger Anthem. Look how crispy new that is. Shiny and chrome. I keep thinking of uh, Mad Max, the, the latest one. It says something shiny and chrome. I forget what it is. But yeah, this it's like a hot rod to me. It's like, man, this thing is... Ooh. All right. Oh, look at how... Oh, God. Look how wide this is. trying to, I got to practice my thin to thick script, uh, one stroke script, uh, not very good at it, but I'm getting better, nah, I suck at it, <laughs> forgot to mention I lost the sound with you. Uh, you need to slow it down with doing script. Think thin in one stroke. Yeah. It's uh I usually do a thin but uh, you know my control on the uh, thin thick that's what I have to uh, you know work on but you know my basic uh, at an event or a gig, I'm trying to just blast through the shirts as quick as possible and not really worry about technique. Oh, 
Oh yeah, uh, hey, if anybody wants to donate to Charlie and uh, help me establish my company, I will try to provide you with more art and provide uh, more access to my process. So currently right now I, I have up on the screen the PayPal, uh, it has a nice QR code, and then, what is the other one there? The other one is Venmo, and that one has a QR code as well. So if you're, if you'd like to, uh, you know, sponsor or possibly contribute to uh, helping me uh, create more videos, and, uh, you know, I can produce, you know, put more time into this, uh, yeah, throw me a little donation. That'd be nice. Be cool. So, yeah, uh, I see a lot of people doing that now, so I just wanted to throw that out there, and then, you know, we're going to figure out this whole thing. Thanks for stopping in. Had a good time. Let's keep it moving. All right, good night, y'all. 